If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is letting you guys know which is the best abilities and X factors to put on your squad right now. And when I do this video, because there's only so many players that get abilities and X factors because before in the past, the core elites used to get them, even though they didn't get like the best X factors as some of these cards that we have right now don't get either. I'm um, not X factors. I mean, abilities. The thing is we got to go and look through each card and see which abilities are going to be working right now for the squad. Even if they're not, if they're not the top, because technically we don't have access to the top abilities right now. Certain cards do um but not all of them right so let me go ahead and show you guys what to use and how effective they've been on my squad so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it all right so the first thing i want to do is go to the lineup and then at the end i have a particular card to show you guys it's going to be up to you if you guys want to get it but he's the only one that gets a certain ability that i think is very op i'm not going to get him right now but at the end of the video i'll show you guys who it is and what ability that is so just stay tuned for that all right, so now when it comes to the QB, because I know a lot of you guys are going to want to uh, get the QB. Um, the you want to, you want to, of course, you're going to get the best abilities on him because he's the one that got to pass the ball, right? So here's the thing. Let's, uh, we'll start off with this guy, right? Because, you know, everyone's probably going to get a lot of the same abilities. So whenever you get your X factors on any QB that you get, in my opinion, honestly, when it comes to the X factors, I will go with dots. And the reason why is because it shows you right here. It grants perfect passing on any throw once it's activated. The only sad thing is you have to activate it, but at least once it once it is activated, it'll grant it'll grant perfect uh, perfect passing. Um, considering that a lot of the quarterbacks overthrow it, right? And I'm not saying that he still won't overthrow it, but when I did see him activate it, he did. Uh, he was pretty op with it. And there, how do I know that? Is because when you go to when you go to house rules. You could test it out in house rules because it's automatically activated. So because house rules is win or lose, right? So even if you lose, you're not going to lose out on much. You go, you could continue to play it and play it and play it. So if you guys do want to test it out, go to house rules. It's automatically activated and just throw the most ridiculous throws you could think of and see if he at least gets it to the player, right? Even if they don't catch, because sometimes the players just won't catch them. Um, they, they, there's been a lot of missed catches and a lot of missed interceptions. So, but that's how you test them out. But if you don't want to go with dots, I would literally go with bazooka just so we could throw it a lot further. But then we'll be the top two. But I will go with dots because you want um, better perfect um, passing accuracy when it comes to the card. Now to the uh, to the abilities. All right. So when it comes to the abilities, they, they got a lot of these like reduced zone objectives in the home stadium. Persistent, like harder to knock out the zone. Energizer. Like, so I'm looking at the ones like, okay, what do I really use and what will really help me out the most? So looking at all these abilities, the best one for me that I know will be effective will be this Agile Extender because it's a higher chance to evade the first sack by Blitzing DB, which has worked tremendously for me. Um, I haven't won two Super Bowls, but I was on my second Super Bowl earlier and I missed it up because it was my fault. I ran out the clock. That was, that was the risk I had to take, but it is what it is. But anyways, um, yeah, knowing that people blitz and all that stuff, it does help out. So I will go with Agile Extender out of all these other ones. But if I do have to go with the other one, honestly, it would probably be like Energizer or Second Wind something, especially when you go hurry up puddle and stuff like that. They can continue to basically get stamina as they're uh, you know playing the game and it lessens the chances, chances of the QB to be the fumble, especially if they run with it. All right, so there's one other thing I do want to say about the QBs. I'm going to go ahead and, because uh, everyone's going to get this other guy for free. So let me take out, I got 25 out of 50 Cowboy Cams. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in real quick just to show you the abilities. Because once he gets up to an 86 overall, this Bryce Young will be my starting QB. But what I like about him is the fact that the next, okay, well, I can actually put the other abilities on him right now, right? I could put, I'll put Al Jow Extender. Oh, that's what I had on him before. And then he gets quick draw automatically right with two ap it's fine but it's faster throwing animations when under pressure so to me it's gonna be a great uh, ability considering that not many of the quarterbacks get you know, top top abilities right now so i'll definitely add that on him and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about these specific quarterbacks is because not a lot of people got a lot of coins to get the top qbs right now and even the top qb supposedly that 87 is trash so i wouldn't even get them right 
So that's, that's one thing I do want to put out there. When it comes to the X Factor, it'll be the same thing, Dots. Now to the receivers. The receivers, they only get so much. So let me show you guys what I... Oh, we'll go to the halfback next. The halfback, they, same thing. They only get so much. So I'll tell you what's the best thing. Fright train because it increases chance to break the next tackle attempt. So that's better for me to have because I'd rather increase that chance to get those extra yardage. And then I put Energizer on him. I might put the... Now, you know what? I didn't realize that he got re reached for it. But I like Energizer too, right? Because he replenished uh, stamina after successful skill moves. Skill moves. Skill moves. And what what I like about that is it lessens his chance to fumble the ball if he if he continues to replenish that stamina. However, considering he has reach for it, you can't go wrong with that because I know in previous Maddens, this reach for it was very OP, which you're going to see right now. I got it on my other players. I'm going to show you guys. Um, but you could definitely go with Energizer or Reach for it. Right now, matter of fact, I'm actually going to take that this one off and put Reach for it. Because I would rather have Reach for it right now and I'm going to see how he operates with it. Um, but Energizer I had for a while. And this guy, he fumbled it, but he only fumbled it a couple times. It wasn't that much as you would think. What's going back out? Come on. All right, so my refi my receivers, right? All my receivers got the same thing besides this Kadarius Tooney. And let me show you guys what it is right now. All right, so on my receivers, of course, to me, it's always going to be double me if you guys want to put an um, X Factor on him. It's the best one. Wins aggressive catches versus single man coverage. Um, when, when they're in the single coverage, just throw it up to them. Nine out of ten times, they're going to catch it. Sometimes they don't, but at least it increases your chance. And then I put reach for it because I look at all these other ones and I was like, ah, these really don't care. Um, but I put reach for it because when I do throw the ball to the receiver, um, when they're being tackled, of course, I want to gain those additional yardage because it does help out a lot. But if I do have to go with the other one, it will be Energizer or Second Win because I do want to up my chances of them gaining, uh, um, you know, of them being able to, to make their plays and all that stuff without losing stamina. And that goes for all my receivers. Kadarius Tony. I literally have on him what he came with, which is going to be the second win. Let me open this up real quick. Which is going to be the second win right here. Well, I can actually put this one on. Right? He just has that one on. So let me go ahead and put it. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to put this one back on him, though. Yeah, because I'd rather have that one. But second, like I said, second win or this one, but I'd rather have the reach for it. To me, it seems to be the best abilities right now because there's only so many abilities that the cards have. And I know a lot of you guys, you could be like, oh, these abilities, this ability. Well, a lot of people usually have the cards that i have they're not going to have a lot of top op cards and i don't even know what other cards are going to get the best abilities right now so I, i'll go ahead and talk about one of the linemen i'm going to go through every little card because um they're not getting that much right but if i had to pick one out of the linemen let me see recur from from fatigue at an increased rate that would pretty good but i would probably go with uh fool me once because that's usually what gains blocking resistance faster it's just something it's not really crazy but it's something to help out um you to get you guys more better protection so that's what i'll go with when it comes to the o-line now let's go over here can you guys see me here even uh um uh, my my tight end got to reach for it on him so now let's go to the the defense all right the defense i actually you know switched it up a little bit but you see right there, they all got the same one besides Jalen Ramsey because he was Jalen Ramsey was able to get two abilities. So what I added on, so I'll go ahead and use Jalen Ramsey as an example. Um, I put Chuck out because if he does uh, Chuck zone Chuck outs fatigue the receiver. So if he does, you know, over there shuts him down, it will uh, it would like fatigue the receiver. And then I also put outmatched on him, which is right here. Better contested ca catching against the run backs, especially when they put their run backs on our like wheel route and stuff like that. Um, it's, it, it, they, they have a lot better chance of locking that down, shutting it down, intercepting the ball, which I actually see them do a lot. Even though they don't intercept the ball like they're supposed to only once in a while, they're usually there most of the time to shut it down, right? So that's the main ability of that, like putting on them. Um, once this tip drill is activated, I would definitely go with that because it would increase your chances to intercept um, a tip ball. Our medium route KO. I would either go with one of these. If I had to go with both of these, I honestly would probably go with medium route KO. Just, just a better chance with that. But for now, a lot of people are only going to have probably this one available. So I will go with outmatch. And when it comes to the X Factor, honestly, I will go with Zone Hawk. Because right now in the game, it seems to be like zone coverage is actually pretty glitchy. 
So therefore, that's why I'll go with Zone Hawk because once it's activated, it tells you right there more interceptions and zone coverage. So, but if for some reason you're not tripping on that, you run man, then go with shutdown because shutdown is more for man coverage, tighter coverage, and more interceptions on contested catches. But me, I run a lot of zone here and there. I'll run man. So I'd rather just go with Zone Hawk. And I got Zone Hawk on all my cornerbacks. Right, not all of them, but I mean my top three. I'm sorry. So this um JC Horn, Jalen Ramsey, and Julius Brent all got zone, uh zone hawk all them. If you guys been hearing my voice is kind of like a little messed up. <clears throat> I that that shows you what that I've been playing a lot of games and uh getting frustrated here and there. Um, because certain plays just go out of uh, crazy. So now when it comes to the linebacker, they ain't really ain't got much right now, right? I'll usually go lurker or something like that. But considering everything that they do, I mean, you could put this one here, cut sticks, guarantee tackle. I mean, sticks, guarantee tackles, and add fumble chance. I put out match once again because um, the, if I once I run man or something like that, this Chuck Cowley or one of my linebackers will end up covering the or the running back. So I want to increase his chances of making those plays. And uh, I got a lot of interceptions with this card, so he's actually been pretty locked down. So it's been working. So what, um, you're only able to get six abilities. Um, I got one more to activate, but I will show you guys is when it comes to the linemen, I only have to click on it, but it's, I, mean, I guess I can't actually one of them, but I put stone on wall on them because once again, they only get so many abilities. And to me, I would rather have stone wall because it says it pre prevents additional yardage gains while tackling. So at least I know once they get a tackle in, the other player won't get that much yardage. They'll just, they'll shut them down. And it has been working a lot. If you guys paying attention, this ability works a hundred percent. So I will, I will tell you guys that. So I do like this, um, that ability, and that's what I'm running on my linemen, or, or or even on some of my linebackers once I'm able to, right? But I even got on Dante Fowler. I, I got to reactivate it. I don't have it reactivated again, but I will reactivate it right now. But that's what I've been running on my squad, offense and defense. It's been working out right now. Once they come out with more abilities or more cards get to abilities, I'll do an update. Um, the the Special teams, they don't have no abilities right now. But let me go to the last card like I, t I showed you guys. I mean, I told you guys I was going to show you. Let me go to Auction Hub because I don't have it. I want to get it, but I don't want to spend the coins right now to get it. But I'm tempted to get it because it do got an ability that's very OP. So let's go to 86, 87s. It's a legend. Oh, 19. Legends. Hopefully it comes up because sometimes they won't come up. All right, so that apparently they fixed it. This guy right here. So he's the cheapest legend up to Dan Deeroff. And what I like about him is because I looked it up. He gets Identifier. So I would definitely rock with that ability. That's one of the most OP abilities. I always tell you guys that every single year on offense because you're able to see where your opponent's at at all times. And it determines what play you're going to use. So I know eventually I'm going to give it a week. Within a week, I definitely will have this card, but I'm hoping that, me personally, I'm hoping they come out with a Cowboy card that has Identifier, but if they don't within a week or two, I'm going to pick up this card because it does get Identifier and it's very OP, um, but I, once again, I know a lot of people can't pick up every single card, so I'm going over the basic cards with the basic abilities because that's what a lot of you guys are going to run, and as you guys could tell right there, that's what I'm running, and I'm telling you guys based on what I've been using and what's been working for me, but this will be a card that I pick up if a player that I want don't get identifier soon because I want that identifier. So I did want to put that out there to you guys. But anyways, there it is there. If you have any questions, people in the comment section until next time I'm out.